Hello and welcome to today's Odoo webinar. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco. Today I'm joined by Brandon, one of our business advisors, to talk about the Odoo IoT Box and how to integrate IoT into your business flows. Thank you for joining us, Brandon. Thank you so much, Noel. As always, if you have any questions regarding today's topic, you can always send us an email to webinars at odoo.com. Or if you'd like to get in touch with Brandon directly, Brandon, what is your email address? It's uh, bjo at odoo.com. Excellent. Uh, so without further ado, go ahead and take it away, Brandon. Well, thank you. So today what we'll be discussing is the IoT box. Uh, the IoT box is a box that looks like this. It's powered by the Raspberry Pi. And IoT stands for the Internet of Things. And what this allows us to do is connect all of our devices into Odoo. So there's a few things we want to discuss today, why you shouldn't miss it, configuration, walkthrough, and wrap up. Um, and from Forbes, this was written in 2018. It's projected at the greatest impact on the industrial economy. I'm sure you can understand why being able to connect devices to directly integrate with uh, the software that you're using does allow you to have much better measurements and much better uh, response times as well. So, as I said, we have some, we, the IoT box allows us to have better productivity, increased quality, as well as more data to gather and um, store for yourselves. So, as I said, here's the IoT box. Um, there's a few different things to note about it. Uh, one, we have our USB ports, we have our Ethernet port, as well as our HDMI port and uh, audio jack as well. So, with all of these, um, all of these USB ports, we can connect a, a various amount of devices, and we can also have multiple IoT boxes as well. So here's our cloud. We have our local network with our IoT boxes that are directly connected into the local network, and then each of our IoT boxes has other um, devices attached to it. So there's a few different ways to connect. We have our USB, which is very simple. Just plug it in. Uh, HDMI, also simple. Bluetooth is activating the Bluetooth and then finding the uh, IoT box. And then finally, we have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a little bit more complicated because within the Wi-Fi, you have to make sure you're on the right network. And all the devices that you want to have connected have to be on the same network as well. So connecting the IoT box is relatively simple. Um, you power it on, install the IoT box, click connect, and then the next step is if you're using an Ethernet connection, you just click scan. However, if you're using Wi-Fi, you copy this token and then you're going to paste it. Um, once you've connected it, you can connect into the IoT box network. And then finally, um, once again, here's the server token, which you would paste uh, into the Wi-Fi signal. So there's a few different ways to apply this. Um, for our demo today, I don't actually have a working IoT box, but we'll pretend. Um, and with it, we have our camera that's already created. We have a caliper, a foot switch, and a label printer. Um, and these four devices are going to be integrated directly into the IoT box. So with, uh, this is our quality control point, and here we have our caliper. It would be connected directly into Odoo once we have the device connected into the IoT box. And then with the caliper, we can measure the, the table legs. We also have our label printer. Um, this allows us to print directly through the label printer without creating a PDF first. Um, and this label printer will be directly connected into the IoT box as well. Um, we have our camera, once again, connected into the IoT box. And we also will have a foot switch. And the foot switch allows us to move between um, different steps that we need to. So our first step is measuring the table legs. What we're looking at right now is uh, if we were in a manufacturing order, um, actually walking through the steps to go through it. Um, in here we have uh, let measure the table legs, the, the table legs width. So we would take out our caliper, measure the table legs. That would appear right here, and then we'd be able to validate it. 
So once we've taken the measure, we click Take Measure and then validate it, and that number is saved in Odoo. Next thing is our foot switch. All we would do is we'd click the foot switch, and that would move us to the next step. And then we have uh, printing the serial number. So we enter the serial number in right here and then click print labels. Once we've printed the label through the zebra printer, we'd move on to the next step and last step, which is taking a picture of the table serial number. So we'd click, uh, we'd click the button on the camera to take the picture. That picture would then appear right here. And then finally, we would validate uh, the, uh, the picture. So if we need to retake it or anything like that, we can do that as well. So this is really useful, especially for quality control, because it allows us to um, save us time, but it also allows us to have less uh, encoding mistakes, especially with the caliper and the camera. You know exactly what you took a picture of, and you know exactly what you um, measured. Foot switch, it's uh, just a ease of use. Um, makes it easy to just move on to the next steps rather than having to manually click the button. And then also we have our print it, printing labels. So once again, you don't have to print through the PDF and you can print directly through the printer. And finally the camera, which allows us to take pictures um, throughout the process and add them into our quality control points if we need to. So finally, we have our pricing, and that's uh, $30 per box per month. And as, um, uh, as you possibly saw on the screen, um, if you have a device that is not currently supported by Odoo, you can pay us $3,000 and we will develop a new driver for it. So pretty much the sky's the limit in terms of devices. It just needs to be, we just need to create a driver to connect to the IoT box. So what it allows you to do, um, Odoo makes it simple to configure it, uh, use it, and it will be fully integrated into your Odoo system. And that's it. All right, well, thank you very much, Brandon. That was an excellent presentation. Uh, thank you for watching. We hope you found it uh, useful and enlightening. Uh, again, if you have any questions regarding today's topic or any other topics in general, you can send us an email to webinars at odoo.com, or uh, as you can see on the screen, you can get in touch with Brandon. Brandon, what is your email address one more time? <laughs> it's bjo at odoo.com. Excellent. Uh, well, I think then uh, from all of us here at Odoo San Francisco, thank you all for watching. We will see you all next time. Thank you.